This is a balloon. This is a tire. Not quite related, right? Well, think again. This is made of rubber. Some balloons are made of synthetic rubber, just like a tire. And it's filled with air. Same as this. So what do you think happens if a balloon lands on water? It floats, right? Can a car's tire float? A bad condition tire can be overwhelmed by water and float just like a balloon. And when that happens, your tire is no longer in contact with the ground and you have no control of the car. We call this condition aqua planning. The tread on the tire are the only thing preventing this. A new tire has a tread depth of 8mm. The minimum legal limit is 1.6mm. However, remember that braking performance will begin to be compromised as the tread wears down. Even though you have 30% of tread depth left, braking performance will begin to deteriorate significantly. Once you reach 1mm, braking distance will be further by about 4 car lengths now. For most people, this tire is still safe. Why? Because they think that there are still growths here and the tire is not bald, so it's safe for you. But that's actually very wrong. You see these ridges here? These are what we call trade wear indicators or wear bars. To judge whether a tire is still safe for use, the correct method is to judge based on these ridges here. Once the indicator is very close to the surface of the tire, it's time to change. As you can see here, there's still some gap between the indicator and the tire surface. But even though this tire is still within legal limits, we will recommend that if your tires are reaching this condition, it's high time that you change it already. So before you make that drive this holiday season, do remember to check the condition of your tires. And if your tread depth is like mine, still well within legal limits but we highly recommend that you change it immediately as i will this public service announcement is brought to you by bridgestone malaysia